guys welcome back to a new video today i'm inside the new land rover range rover 2022 or 2023 the way you want to call it and today we will talk about multimedia system and the new digital cockpit and the new head-up display that it's incredible i tell you guys this new range rover it's it's a piece of art i mean it's incredible anyway guys i'm at emil frey in switzerland if you are in switzerland around switzerland if you want to see this new range rover check them out guys the link will be in the description now let me go forward right now the car the engine it's off and it's it's lovely being inside here first of all let's talk about the visibility the visibility on this new digital screen is just incredible uh, also on this new multimedia screen is just crazy it's installed the same way way as they install it uh, in the previous new models but the difference is I don't know if you can see it from the side here but the screen it's somehow uh, rounded they just round it around uh, the dashboard and it looks just phenomenal and I don't even need to tell you when you touch it the screen it's like a tablet it's like a high 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 and tablet very expensive very responsive everything it's working super fast and super nice and i was like blow my mind when i see it for the first time now guys uh the adjustment in the seats electric adjustment seats we have it here also the key it's with me i want to put the contact here is the start engine uh, button i put the contact and right now you can see everything it's illuminating right now even those buttons on the steering wheel probably already see it on my other uh, reviews they are the same controllers on the steering wheel right here but uh, there are a few differences here and there uh, that i want to show you and let me adjust the seats uh, for the first time and then let me start the engine as well what i notice is that the engine is incredible silent and that is just blow my mind at how powerful it is uh, the same same silent it is and also the vibration inside the cabin they are they are quite low now guys first of all let's talk about uh, this part down here so for example here you can change different driving modes and you can see also from this wheel all you have to do is just rotate it here you have the downhill assist and here you have the low neutral uh low range so from here you activate it very simple just that press that button now let me show you on the cockpit the way it looks every time you change the different driving mode so for example right now we are in dynamic mode you can you have echo mode you have also comfort mode you have uh grass grower uh mode then you have the mod here it's also uh snow here you have the mod and rut sand and then rock crawl and then you have the weight and every time you activate those things even the um, air suspension they will activate and they will uh, go up or down depending different uh, mode depending which mode you are uh, i will leave it in echo uh, for the for the purpose of this video uh, this is something that i really want to integrate in this video to show you this is the volume knob right here and also you can start and stop the multimedia system we will talk a little bit about the multimedia system but before uh, going to the multimedia system i want to show you also the climatic system climatic system very nice integrated here uh, you, can, you can see when you press it it feels like a button it gives you a feedback and also you can feel it and you can hear it uh, and here those wheels are the most fantastic part so from here you can change the different temperature when you press it it gets you to the seat controller so you can activate the ventilated seat the car hum with free position ventilated seat and heated seat of course free position so how cool is that when you pull it to you uh, you can change the vent speed so really really cool i mean i like this feature very very much now going forward to the multimedia system uh, and here on the multimedia system guys you will see this screen that it's how you see it before it's a little bit round around uh, the edges of the dashboard and it's very similar I already review it on the other uh, cars and it's it's really really good I mean in terms of how responsive it is it's very responsive it's very smooth you can change different uh, information and you can go in different menu without any problem if you want to activate for example and you want to drive here 
you can see every time it press the start it's just loading in no time it's incredible fast also you can see the map on the digital screen right there in the front it's just gorgeous i mean it's the latest it's one of the best it's in top 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 uh, there and you can see the 3d map you can see the stadium you can see the buildings here it's super fast super good multimedia system also you can choose the 3d or 2d depend how you want to see it um, gorgeous gorgeous multimedia system uh, and, and navigation now here you have some shortcut guys by the way if you go to the telephone shortcut you can add your telephone here um, also you have the media here you can change different station different players um, here you have also the car auto hold uh, it's here so from here you activate and deactivate auto hold start stop engine button the same from here stability control traction control also from here really interesting uh, height weight here on the high weight uh, at normal height from here you can change uh, to off-road so if you go to off-road the car will go upper a little bit if you go to normal the car will go to normal and access it will go down so really cool and really easy to change uh, the position of the air suspensions now if you go forward here to the car uh, you see it already uh, and if you go forward down here to the home it will get you to the home this is the home screen where you can customize and add different things you can edit different things and you can add whatever you want to add uh, you can add it without any problem right there you can see you can press you can play with them uh, just like that and you can see here the navigation you can see the, the phone the media the compass uh, the made uh, of the car uh, energy impact that I will show you in a second and also the driving style right there but if you go here if you go to the menu this is the full menu of the car you have even weather in the car here so you can see the weather outside and uh, for the next days here so it's really interesting the destination uh, or you can search for it then you have uh, also the connected account the cabin light here on the cabin light the car have incredible ambient light you can see under the dashboard there and also here on the dash it's it's lovely it looks really really good inside here even on the door here you have a beautiful ambient light and even on the back there on the door i think you can see it from here uh, lovely lovely ambient light and from here you can change ocean blue you have a few colors here that you can change and you can play with them uh, really cool and also you can animate if you want to uh, from here so it's really really interesting then you have the audio system where you can activate and change different functions then you have here the home layout and then you have quick uh, for example the brightness you can play with the brightness of this of the cockpit from here and also you can put it in dark mode you can put it in day mode uh, however you want to change you can play with it from here i will leave it in dark mode because it looks much better uh, on the camera now going forward to the main menu if you go down here uh, we have the towing and trailers so you have all the settings here uh, you can also add it uh, then you have the media you have the phone here that i show you before you have the voice command the vehicle dimensions here you find all the dimension of the vehicle uh, so you can see it quite cool you can also pause the video and read it out if you want to know the dimension the towing bar if you go here you can deploy it from here uh, from inside the cabin uh, measure load trailer and stuff like that you have also different information here we have the low traction launch here the low uh, traction launch you find it here but you have also the button down here that i show you before so yeah cool now let me go forward we have the 404 information so when the car is uh, working you have all the information uh, about the car here let me go forward so you have all the infos with what happened with the car while you're driving uh, wide sensitive by the way you can go inside the water until maximum 0.82 meters so keep in mind if the water exceed that uh, dimension uh, you, will, you will probably have water inside the cabin echo data here you have all the information in this the consumption and you can see what it's consuming in in this moment uh, on the car 
uh, we have right here the valid mode of course you can put a pin and you can have the car in valid mode you can limit it some things apple carplay of course you have it here cameras the car come with 360 degrees camera i don't know if you see it but it's kind of a 3d camera that shows you what it's around the car and it's really really good at showing that and you can see here in real time that it's incredible precise also you can change it manual the cameras from here if you want to do that and also you can deactivate it from here from the side you have it also on the side there and then you have the climatic system of course that you have it also on the screen you can choose rear and front uh, you can also activate and deactivate different things the vents here the vent speed you can choose and uh, coordinate and change and customize the way you want the seats you have the seats of course here so you can adjust the different parts of the seats how cool is that up down even this area here you can change it the passengers the seat heating of course from here and more information about the seats on the back there um, you can actually fold the seats on the back from here so how cool is that you can do it from here uh, automatically so you don't have to go in the back there good i think i show you almost everything then it's account and the navigation here the navigation you already see it great visibility as i said from the driver point of view incredible good visibility i like it i really like the car i really like this new multimedia system the only thing that i didn't show you is the settings this is the button for the settings um, that shows you also all these settings here of the car that you will find it here the audio and all the settings uh, you have it also here and let me go back quick settings home screen um, and yeah I guess um, those are the most important things that you should know about the car uh, in terms of cockpit of course you can uh, control it uh, from here and you can change different views so you can see uh, different information there information panel display layout the trip selection the the head-up display by the way settings guys from here you can change it enable the brightness the position the content of the uh, head-up display you can change it from here you can choose what you would like to see and i'll show you in a second if you look closer there you can see the head-up display directly on the windshield you can see uh, a lot of information there and it looks lovely i don't know uh, if you can see it on the camera but it's great it's one of the best head of display uh, on the market these days also by the way this windshield come heated uh, on this new range rover and it's incredible even the mirror by the way it comes with that camera camera mirror i don't know how they call it but you can see a camera in the reverse there and you can change it from here you can change different information the brightness and yeah it's it's lovely the car is just incredible guys so i already reviewed this and you probably see it and you know it from my other videos uh, from here you can change a lot uh, a lot of things and a lot of features um, and and it's great i mean um, i like very much what they did the cockpit by the way it's beautiful the way it is integrated here in the dashboard it's it's beautiful the brightness the colors everything it's, it's just perfect and, and lovely view from here you cannot customize it the way you can customize a mercedes for example but you can still uh, change a lot of features um, to be honest i mean you, you have it it's, it's it's all you need there you don't need to have it more complicated or um, however it's, it's it's great it's great i really like it anyway that was all that was the multimedia that was the interior guys uh, of course next days will come also on other videos uh, deeper full review there i will show you every single detail the glass of the space in the back uh, the test drive will come soon as well so click the subscribe button to see the notification when those videos will come out if you still have question if i didn't cover everything if i forget something just let me know guys let me know down in the comment also if you want to see the car check out emil frame burn uh, thank you for watching, stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.